The Aviva Stadium in Dublin was buzzing with excitement and anticipation. Republic of Ireland versus England, a clash of titans on the football field. It's always a special fixture, full of passion, history and intense rivalry. But for Declan Rice, this night held a particularly significant meaning. Returning to Ireland, the country of his grandparents, wearing the three lions on his chest, was a poignant moment. It was a complex mix of emotions, a blend of pride and nostalgia. He'd made the decision to represent England years ago, a choice that wasn't easy. But the Irish connection ran deep, a part of his family's story and heritage. As the anthems played, you could see the intense focus and determination in Rice's eyes. He carried the weight of expectation knowing that every touch would be scrutinised by fans and media alike. When the whistle blew, he channelled that energy and pressure into his performance on the field. A strong presence in midfield, breaking up play and driving England forward with determination. And then, the moment that shifted the narrative. A goal that changed everything. A well-taken goal that showcased his technical ability composure and skill under pressure. Declan Rice's journey is a reminder that football is often about more than just the game itself. It's a story of personal growth, cultural ties and the pursuit of dreams. It's about identity, heritage and the decisions we make that shape our lives. Football becomes a canvas where these elements are painted vividly. Born in England, Rice's connection to Ireland is undeniable. His roots run deep, intertwining two nations in his heart. His grandparents hailed from Cork, their influence a constant in his upbringing. The stories, the traditions and the values they imparted were a significant part of his life. He represented the Republic of Ireland at youth level, a testament to the pull of his family's heritage. It was a proud moment, reflecting his deep connection to his Irish roots. The decision to switch allegiance to England was a difficult one, made with the guidance of his family and a desire to compete at the highest level. It was a choice that weighed heavily on his mind. It sparked debate and divided opinions. Fans and pundits alike had strong feelings about his decision, but throughout it all, Rice carried himself with dignity and respect. He remained focused on his goals and stayed true to himself. He understood the complexities, the emotions involved. The weight of his choice was never lost on him. He never forgot where he came from, the Irish blood that coursed through his veins. His journey is a testament to the power of heritage and the strength of personal conviction. When the ball hit the back of the net, the instinct for many players is to celebrate with unrestrained joy, to let the world know of their triumph. The adrenaline takes over, the roar of the crowd fuels the moment, and the euphoria is almost palpable. But for Declan Rice, scoring against the Republic of Ireland was different. It was a moment filled with mixed emotions. This wasn't just another goal, it carried a weight of personal significance. This was a goal scored against the country of his grandparents, against a nation he still held a deep affinity for. His reaction spoke volumes about his inner conflict and respect. There were no wild celebrations, no outward displays of jubilation, just a quiet moment of reflection. Instead, there was a muted acknowledgement a sense of respect for the opposition and the occasion, a gesture that transcended the game. He raised his hands in apology, a gesture that resonated deeply with fans on both sides, showing his understanding of the moment's gravity. It was a mark of the man, his character shining through amidst the intensity of international football, a true testament to his sportsmanship and integrity. Beyond the emotion of the occasion, 
This match was also about Declan Rice rediscovering his best form. His performances for England had been solid, but perhaps lacking the spark that had become his trademark. The pressure of a big money move to Arsenal, the weight of expectation that came with it, had perhaps taken its toll. But against Ireland, there were glimpses of the old Rice. He was sharp in the tackle, his passing crisp and accurate. He dictated the tempo of the game, providing a platform for England's attacking players to flourish. The goal was a bonus, a tangible reward for his efforts. But it was the overall performance that would have pleased him most. The confidence was returning, the swagger slowly creeping back into his game. Section 5. A Breath of Fresh Air It's difficult to overstate the impact Lee Carsley has had on this England team. Stepping in as interim manager, he brought a sense of calmness and clarity to the role. The players have responded positively to his methods, their performances reflecting a renewed sense of purpose. Carsley understands the pressures of international football having represented the Republic of Ireland himself. He's created a relaxed but focused environment, allowing the players to express themselves on the pitch. His tactical acumen is evident in the way England are playing, a clear game plan built on solid defensive foundations and quick transitions. But perhaps more importantly, he's fostered a strong team spirit a sense of unity that transcends club rivalries. Section 6. Rebuilding Confidence For Declan Rice, Carsley's arrival has been a positive development. The manager has shown faith in him, entrusting him with a key role in the heart of the midfield. This trust has allowed Rice to play with freedom to express himself without fear of making mistakes. The confidence is slowly returning, the belief in his own ability starting to shine through. Carsley's man management skills have been crucial in this regard. He's created an environment where players feel supported, where they're encouraged to take risks and push themselves to improve. This has been particularly beneficial for Rice, who thrives in an atmosphere of positivity and encouragement. Section 7. A Team United One of the most striking aspects of England's recent performances has been the togetherness of the squad. The players are fighting for each other, working tirelessly for the collective good. There's a sense of camaraderie that's often been missing in previous England teams. This unity is a testament to the work of Lee Carsley and his coaching staff. They've created a culture of respect and hard work, where every player understands their role within the team. There are no egos, no individuals who believe they are bigger than the group. This collective spirit is a potent weapon a foundation upon which England can build for future success. Section 8 The Road Ahead Declan Rice's journey with England is far from over. There will be challenges ahead, setbacks to overcome. But the signs are promising. He's rediscovering his best form, his confidence growing with every passing game. Lee Carsley's influence has been transformative, creating a positive and supportive environment where players can thrive. The road ahead is long, but Rice is ready for the challenge. He has the talent, the temperament and the unwavering support of his teammates. With hard work and dedication, he can achieve great things with England. The future is bright, full of possibilities. Section 9. A Future Full of Promise As the final whistle blew at the Aviva Stadium, Declan Rice could reflect on a night of mixed emotions. He'd scored against the country of his grandparents, a bittersweet moment that highlighted the complexities of his journey. 
but more importantly, he'd delivered a captain's performance, leading by example and inspiring his teammates. The future is full of promise for Declan Rice and this England team. They have the potential to achieve something special, to write their names into the history books. The journey will be long and demanding, but they have the talent, the belief, and the unwavering support of a nation behind them.